The construction process of a landfill module happens in three phases. The first phase is the excavation of the module. That takes place in the first year and takes approximately three months to complete. The second phase is the lining of the module, which you see behind me. That happens in the second year and takes approximately six months to complete. The final phase is the actual filling of the module with waste. For a landfill design, there are approximately 10 different material types layered on top of one another to isolate the waste from the earth below. These layers are separated into four categories. From top to bottom, the top layer is the operations layer. This is where the actual waste is placed. The second layer is the drainage layer where gravel and geotextiles allow the flow of water to the sump area of the cell. The third layer is the primary containment layer. This is an one isolation barrier to keep everything above from entering the ground below. And then below that is a secondary layer, just in case any defects ever occurred in the primary layer. We have that backup of the secondary layer to keep that waste isolated above the liner. Once liner construction is completed, we fill the waste module from the lowest point up. This makes sure that there's the least amount of water runoff from the actual waste on the ground. Once we build the waste up to a level where it can connect into our older module, the two will then be joined and act as one larger waste unit. Once the landfill module has reached its permanent height, we close it by applying a large soil cap approximately four feet to the top of the waste. Then a layer of liner gets placed over that soil cap, and then additional soil is placed on top of that. We then plant vegetation to prevent erosion throughout the seasons as the landfill remains closed.